This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the market notched a second consecutive week of losses. The S&P fell 2% for the week. The Dow was down 1.7%, and the NASDAQ fell the most, down 2.7%. Now, stocks fell this week in the wake of the Federal Reserve's 50 basis point rate hike that was expected on Wednesday, even though it's the highest rate in 15 years. What wasn't expected was the central bank's hawkish comment that they would continue to raise rates through 2023 to 5.1%, much larger than previously announced and especially surprising given the soft CPI number reported earlier in the week. Now, trading was especially volatile on Friday due to what is known as quadruple witching. That's when stock index futures, stock index options, stock options, and single stock futures expire simultaneously. There were $2.6 trillion worth of index options expiring, the highest amount relative to the size of the equity market in nearly two years. At session lows, the Dow was down as much as 547 points before pairing back some of the decline. While stocks fell, the bond markets managed to hold their gains of the previous week. The two-year Treasury yield, a barometer for expectations about the federal funds rate, finished the week with a yield of 4.17%. Now, that's well below the Fed's target of 5.1%. Wharton economist Jeremy Siegel has said the bond market is much smarter than the Federal Reserve. And at least for now, the bond market is telling us, in spite of the rate hikes from the Fed, that rates are going down, not up. Now, as we all learned in Finance 101, financial assets are discounted at the interest rate plus a risk premium. As rates rose this year, asset values declined, so a continued rally in bonds will be a welcome sign that perhaps the worst is behind us. Stay tuned. There's no way to sugarcoat it. 2022 has been the worst year for a balanced conservative portfolio in the last 100 years. The good news is there's never been a period where both stocks and bonds were both down in consecutive years at the same time. Great news for 2023, and even better news for the long-term investor who knows the secret sauce of investing is not timing short-term swings in the market, but compounding your dividends and interest, especially when your portfolio is on sale. And this is why the current volatility should not be feared, but totally embraced. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call us right now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply pick up the phone and call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.